Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'd like to show you this irrigation controller from Eritrol. It's a one station controller and why I bought it? Because my old controller died and I wanted a controller that can be programmed via the smartphone. So this controller, as you can see on the picture here, has no screen, no buttons. It can only be controlled via Bluetooth, via the Eritrol Life application. So this is how the box looks like. Here we have some serial numbers. In my case, as you can see, this is one station, but the same product comes in uh, two stations, three, four stations or six stations. So depending on your needs, you can choose whatever variant you need. And this is the box. Let's see what you can find inside it. So here we have a user manual or a quick start guide. Okay. This is the controller, but let's see what else we have inside the box. I think this is a stand to be able to mount it wherever you want. Yeah, it comes in here. As you can see, you can mount it like this. Yeah. Okay. And here we have two little recipients. I don't know what they are. I see. And this is a small strap. And this is it. So, let's come back to the controller. The controller is made of plastic, hard plastic. Here we have the cap for the battery slot. Ah, this is a rubber part in order to seal it 100% not to enter water to the battery and here is where you put a battery this is another seal here okay and as you can see it has no buttons there is no display here it is waterproof IP68 so the highest grade as you can see here it's IP68 Outdoor use, you can put it wherever you want in the garden. Yeah, and these are the cables. This is it. I'm going to connect it to my, to my uh, irrigation system. I'm going to replace the old device, which is basically more or less the same device, but with a screen and some buttons. And unfortunately, the screen died, so I cannot see on it and I cannot control it anymore. And I'm going to connect this device via the application to my smartphone to see how to program it. And I'll show the application too. Okay guys, so this is my old device. I took it out. As you can see, the screen is broken. So what I did, here I have a valve and I have two wires, a black one and a red one. What you need to do is to take the new controller. It also has two cables, one red and one black so you need to connect black with black and red with red and then you put some tape here and this is it and of course you need to put a battery here I already put a battery okay guys so I installed the device inside the box as you can see in my case the box is in the ground but as I told you, it's IP68, so there is no problem. In order to control the device, you need to install this application, LifeDC. I already installed it. I already connected the device via Bluetooth to my phone. It's very simple. You just need to enter a password to remember it, and that's it. In fact, it's a pin. And this is the main screen of the application. If you press on this, basically here you have three tabs. We should wait a bit until it is connected. And in these three tabs, as you can see, you can program the device, you can manual start the irrigation, 
or you can turn it off or on. If we press the programming, here basically you see the current status, which is stopped. You see the time. In my case, I selected to irrigate for 13 minutes. And here it's the water uh, debit. In my case, it's 100%, but you can play to increase it via sliding this toggle here. And you have multiple programs. I'm just using one program. For me, it's very simple, but if you want to create different scenarios, you can create different programs. Here is the duration of the irrigation. As I told you, in my case, it's 13 minutes, but you can play and select how many hours and how many minutes you want. Okay. Station one, as I told you, is just one station. Here, when to start. Basically, you can create multiple start times, but in my case, I wanted to start at 5 and 40 minutes a.m. back and here in calendar you basically you select the days when you want to irrigate in my case it's custom and I selected Tuesday Wednesday Friday and Sunday you can either select all of them but you also have some other options like even days odd days different intervals and so on this is how I programmed my device if we press the manual, you can start it from here. Basically, you can select for how many minutes you want to manually irrigate, validate. You can increase the hours and the minutes. In my case, I just wanted to make a test for one minute. And or station, and you can press play and the irrigation will start. And if you press stop, the irrigation will stop. I don't want to irrigate right now because I just applied some fertilizers to my grass, but uh, it's working because I tested earlier and on off if you want to power off the device you just press off and here you have some selection of permanent of today of today and tomorrow for three days and so on in my case i want to keep it on i think it lost the connection let's see you need to be very very close to to it okay so you need to be like half a meter maximum from the device and as you can see here, you can also see the battery level and the signal. And if you press this button here, basically you can rename the device. In my case, it's uh, irrigator front. You can change the security key that uh, you set at the beginning. You can add the location if you want, but I don't want to add the location. And here you have other information, the software version, retrieve controllers data. I don't know what it's doing. And you can erase all programs and durations. Basically, it's a reset. And this is it. It's very simple, very easy to use. Guys, this was my review. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks.